Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how the product list work for selecting your pro product. And why is it that there is a red corner? Okay. Now, um, the reason why there are red corner is because this particular text is not within the drop down. So therefore, um, everything is actually taken from this list here, this column. So if the if the text that has got a red corner, it means it's not on the pricing H list. Yeah, which will be the most current pricing for your products. That's why. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to add a new item on and what happens if in the future there is a price change. So to add a new item on, because um, I noticed Phoenix has grouped them in a particular order like this. So let's just say some paper. So you insert um, a line, okay? And then um, it's actually this part that has got a formula, okay? So what you do, you can actually just um, hold on, let me just make this a bit smaller so you can see everything in one screen. You can actually select this and drag down. Okay. Um, yeah. Delete this. Actually, you, you just select from this cell to here and then drag down. Yeah. So let's just put in a new item and I'll call it pink paper if you have the product code good if you don't don't worry so I'm just going to put down demo one two three four five and then if I'm actually buying a box of paper there is five rim so there's the packaging is five okay and here you can choose what category it belongs to. So S will be stationary, P packaging, L leaflet, T ticketing, like for VM. Because um, this is actually part of the coding that we can actually sum up all that has been used um, for different departments yeah so when you do that uh you tell the spreadsheet how much you pay for five uh, as a box so let's just say it is 10 pounds so what happened is this formula uh is actually the pack divided by five equal this yeah and as you can see this is actually the, let me just blow it up for you to have a look. Pink paper, demo 12345 in the category of stationery and it's two pounds. Yeah. So when you, when you actually enter this information in, it will automatically generate a coding for you to select here. Okay, so I'm just going to put down pink paper here. But maybe this, yeah, let's just say pink paper. This is it. And then you can say, I wanted to give them two packs of pink paper. So wait a moment and this will become four. Right. Yeah, and, um, Let's just say in um, three weeks' time, the pink paper, the pricing have increased to £2.50. So at the moment, it's £2. There is no red corner. Okay. So let's go back to pricing and increase the price a bit more. Okay. Very bad at my maths, unfortunately. 
So let's just say, <laughs> let's just say it, the whole thing costs um, 14 pounds to buy now for the um, pink paper. And once you have done that, the new price will be two pound fifty, and so the ticket, the ticketing code here, is two pound fifty or eighty. <laughs> and so when that happens, hold on, let me just um, get the view back. This will have a red corner, but it doesn't matter because this is the old price. So please don't get worked up with um, uh, the red corner. Um, pink paper again, and this way, um, when different partner starts to um order things, they don't have to have the knowledge of what is the latest price because David can actually put in the latest price on this listing here to adjust it, and it will automatically divide. Um, the packs, as in um, the individual packs price. But it, when when somebody is actually ordering, let's just, let's just say it is two boxes, and you know they're ordering two boxes. What you need to do is just put down ten units because you know that this price is talking about ten units of paper. Yeah, so you just have to make your judgment. I mean, the perfect example is actually sellotape because uh, sellotape, it comes in a pack of six. And when when that happens, um, when people ask you for one sellotape, so you decide whether you give them a pack of six if you give them a pack of six, just put down six. Yeah, sellotape. Let me see if I can find some sellotape. No. Or just clear. I think it's called clear tape. Tape. Packaging tape. Yeah. So maybe it's not this one, but the, the theory is still very similar. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Thank you very much. Goodbye.